Hello, in this video I will show you how to access on hold messages via the Mimecast for Outlook app as well as how to access the on hold messages in the Mimecast website as well. So here I have my Outlook where you have the file home options and then you have the Mimecast add-in along the end. Once we are here, the main option that we are concerned about for the sake of this video is the on hold messages button. So here we will be able to see any on hold messages that are in our personal queue or in our moderated queue. So the difference here is the personal queue is any email sent to your inbox and the moderated queue is for any mailboxes that you look after such as info at or sales at where you might be an overseer. This would need to be set up prior in Mimecast. So just for this video, we'll be looking at the personal on hold messages. So once you come to this option here and you select personal on hold, you will then get a little pop out screen such as this one that will show you any messages that are on hold for you. And so you can click on them and you can have a quick read of what they are. As it says here for the security, Mimecast isn't showing any images, but you can click to display them as well. And it also tells you that why the message is being held. So for this one, it is for the spam signature policy. And so I can come into here and I can have a quick read and go, yep, yeah, this is fine. This isn't a spam message. And along the top bar here, we have the release button. So we can release the message, release message and permit address. That will add the single address into our permit list, which means that this account will never be blocked for spam again. And then we also have the release message and permit domain option. Now that will add the domain at zoom.us to my allow list. Now this can be a very useful tool if you receive emails from a customer or client and they often get blocked for spam. However, I don't recommend adding anything such as Yahoo or Gmail or Outlook.com to this allow list as then those spam emails will always come through to you and we'll, get, uh, we'll miss this check that Mimecast does for us. So one way here as well, instead of releasing the email, we can also reject the email. So we can reject the message, which just sends it on its way, deletes it off. Then we also have reject message and block the address, which again is just the one specific address that sent you the email, which is the most preferred option. And then we also have reject message and block the domain as well. Here again, if you were to block someone such as at gmail.com or Outlook or Yahoo, then you may get issues down the line as no one from that domain will be able to send you any emails at all. Here we can also mark it as spam where it will be sent off to Mimecast for analysis so they can help prevent these in the future. So once you've logged into login.mimecast.com and put in your email address and password, as well as the multi-factor authentication code if required, you should get a screen that looks similar to this. So the main option we are interested in here is the Mimecast personal portal. You may get the options dependent on your Mimecast configuration, but for now we're only interested in the personal portal option. Once you are logged into this option, you will get your inbox where you can kind of access any emails as well. We are concerned about over on the left here, we have the dot, 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 which is the advanced option. Once we click into that, we can click into the personal on hold, where we will also see the exact same email we saw earlier on. And then once we're here, we can have a quick read of the email. We can also come up to the options here. And just as they were earlier, we can report as spam or phishing. We can release the message, permit the sender and domain and we can also reject the message sender or domain. Here you can also access the moderated on hold as well, if you do have access to any shared mailboxes, but the main consideration here is the personal on hold where you can see any email sent to you, see why they were marked as spam, and then you can take action from them here. Thanks for watching, and if you have any issues, please feel free to contact us at www.prodriveit.co.uk.